Hi guys, this is Dr. Niaz Muhammad. In this lecture, I shall talk about isotopes. So let's get it started. Isotopes are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. For example, the element hydrogen has three isotopes. The first one is called protium or ordinary hydrogen. This isotope of hydrogen is shown by the symbol H11. It has one proton and no neutron in the nucleus, while one electron is present in the first shell. The second isotope of hydrogen is called deuterium or heavy hydrogen. This isotope is shown by the symbol H12 or D12. As the symbol shows, deuterium has one proton and one neutron in its nucleus while one electron is present in the first shell of deuterium. The third isotope of hydrogen is called tritium or it is also called a radioactive hydrogen. It is shown by the symbol H13 or T13. This tritium has one proton and two neutrons in the nucleus while one electron is present in the first shell. Now by looking to these three isotopes of hydrogen, we can say isotopes of an element have same atomic number due to same number of protons. You see all these three isotopes of hydrogen have one one proton in the nucleus. Also isotopes have different atomic masses due to different number of neutrons. As you can see protium has no neutron. Deuterium has one neutron and tritium has two neutrons in the nucleus. Also, if isotopes of an element are neutral, then they have same number of electrons and same electronic configuration. As you see here in case of hydrogen, all the three isotopes have one one electron in their valence shells. Now an important point about the position of atomic number and atomic mass on the symbol. Here I have shown atomic number at left top of the symbol while atomic mass at left bottom of the symbol. Remember, we can switch their positions means we can write atomic number at left bottom of the symbol and atomic mass at left top of the symbol. Both ways are correct. What we have to remember is that the smaller number is always atomic number and the bigger number is always atomic mass. Now remember, chemical properties depend upon atomic number and electronic configuration. As isotopes have same atomic number and same electronic configuration, so their chemical properties are same. However, the physical properties largely depend upon atomic mass is isotopes have different atomic masses so their physical properties are different. Remember just few elements have only one isotope like aluminum has only one isotope that is shown as aluminum 1327. Similarly fluorine also has only one isotope that is shown as F919. Now most of the elements have more than one isotopes like I discussed hydrogen has three isotopes also chlorine has two isotopes that is chlorine 1735 and chlorine 1737. The first isotope of chlorine that is chlorine 1735 has 17 protons and 18 neutrons in the nucleus while 17 electrons are present in this isotope arranged in the three shells with an electronic configuration of 287. The second isotope of chlorine shown as chlorine 1737 has 17 protons and 20 neutrons in the nucleus while again 17 electrons are arranged in the three shells with an electronic configuration of 287. Now as these isotopes have same atomic number and different atomic masses. So for the differentiation, we normally write atomic mass with symbols. For example, for chlorine, we say chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. Now let's see another important point. We use two terms, that is isotopic mass 
and relative isotopic mass. An isotopic mass means the sum of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an isotope of an element. For example, chlorine has two isotopes, that is chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. The first isotope has 17 protons and 18 neutrons in the nucleus, so its isotopic mass is 35. The second isotope of chlorine has 17 protons and 20 neutrons in its nucleus, so its isotopic mass is 37. Now the term atomic mass I used so far was actually the isotopic mass that is sum of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom or an isotope of an element. Now remember, the exact mass of an atom or an isotope is not obtained by simply adding its protons and neutrons present in the nucleus. The mass of an isotope of any element is measured relative to an atom of carbon-12 in an instrument called mass spectrometer. Remember, carbon has three isotopes, that is carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. Out of these three isotopes, carbon-12 is the most stable isotope of carbon. It is abundantly available and has an exact mass of 12 AMU, so it is used as a standard. Now, let's consider that this square represents an atom of carbon-12 having a mass of 12 AMU. If this square or carbon-12 atom is divided into 12 equal parts, then this one twelfth part of carbon atom would have a mass of 1 AMU. Remember, mass of an isotope of an element is measured relative to this one twelfth part of carbon-12. Now, mass of an isotope of an element measured relative to one twelfth part of carbon-12 is called relative isotopic mass. For example, if we say that the relative isotopic mass of a hydrogen isotope is 1, then it means this hydrogen isotope has a mass equal to 1 twelfth part of carbon-12. Similarly, if we say the relative isotopic mass of magnesium isotope is 24, then it means this magnesium isotope is 24 times heavier than 1 twelfth part of carbon-12. Remember, A is per definition of relative isotopic mass. 24 over here does not mean that sum of proton and neutron present in the nucleus of magnesium isotope is 24. Now, remember, mostly the values of isotopic mass and relative isotopic mass are quite similar, but still, definition for them are different. As I discussed earlier, that isotopic mass is equal to the sum of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an isotope of an element. While relative isotopic mass is the mass of an isotope of an element relative to 1 twelfth part of carbon-12. Now let's discuss some examples. First for hydrogen. Hydrogen has three isotopes, that is protium, deuterium, and tritium. The isotopic mass of protium is 1, as it has one proton and no neutron in its nucleus. And the relative isotopic mass of protium is 1.0078. Now this relative isotopic mass of protium is measured by comparing a protium atom with 1 twelfth part of carbon-12 in a mass spectrometer. Now you can see that the values of isotopic mass and relative isotopic mass of protium are similar, but definitions for the two values are quite different. Similarly, the isotopic mass of deuterium is 2 as it has one proton and one neutron in its nucleus, while the relative isotopic mass of deuterium is 2.0141. Again, the value of isotopic mass is similar to the value of relative isotopic mass. 
Now, isotopic mass of third isotope of hydrogen called tritium is 3 is it has one proton and two neutrons in its nucleus. The relative isotopic mass of tritium is 3.0160. Now, let's see another example. The element neon also has three isotopes that is neon 20, neon 21 and neon 22. There are 10 protons and 10 neutrons in the nucleus of neon 20 isotope. So its isotopic mass is 20 while its relative isotopic mass is 19.992. Also neon 21 has 10 protons and 11 neutrons in its nucleus. So its isotopic mass is 21 while its relative isotopic mass is 20.994. And the third isotope of neon, that is neon 22, has 10 protons and 12 neutrons in its nucleus. So its isotopic mass is 22 and its relative isotopic mass is 21.991. Now remember, different isotopes of an element have different percentage abundance in nature. For example, in case of hydrogen, 99.985% hydrogen exists as protium or hydrogen 1. 0.015% hydrogen exists as deuterium or hydrogen 2, while tritium is present in trace amount. Similarly, 90.48% of neon exists as neon 20. 0.027% of neon exists as neon 21, while 9.25% of neon exists as neon 22. Now remember, in periodic table, the individual relative isotopic masses are not shown. Rather, the average of relative isotopic masses of all isotopes of an element is shown. And this average isotopic mass of all isotopes of an element relative to 1 12th part of carbon 12 is called the relative atomic mass of an element. It is normally shown as AR. Now let's see how do we calculate the relative atomic mass of an element. Let's take the example of neon. It has three isotopes. The first isotope of neon has a relative isotopic mass of 19.992 and its percentage abundance is 90.48%. The second isotope of neon has a relative isotopic mass of 20.994 and its percentage abundance is 0.27%. The third isotope of neon has a relative isotopic mass of 21.991 and its percentage abundance is 9.25. Now, relative atomic mass of neon is equal to mass of first isotope into its percentage abundance plus mass of second isotope of neon into its percentage abundance plus mass of third isotope of neon into its percentage abundance over 100. If we put the values in this equation, we get the relative atomic mass of neon equal to 20.1796. Let's have another example. Chlorine has two isotopes that is chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. 75% of chlorine exists as chlorine 35, while 25% of chlorine exists as chlorine 37. Now the relative atomic mass of chlorine would be the average of these two relative isotopic masses. That is, relative atomic mass of chlorine is equal to mass of first isotope into its percentage abundance plus mass of second isotope into its percentage abundance over 100. That is 35 into 75 plus 37 into 25 over 100. This equals to 35.5. So the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. That is written in the periodic table. Now another example. Let's consider boron. It has two isotopes. That is boron 10 and boron 11. 20% of boron exists as boron 10, while 80% of boron exists as boron 11. Now guys, please pause the video and for the self-assessment, try to find the relative atomic mass of boron. 
Okay, if your working is like this and your answer is 10.8, then it is correct. And now summary of the lecture. Isotopes are atoms of the same element with same number of protons and different number of neutrons. Isotopes of an element show same chemical properties due to same electronic configuration. Isotopes of an element show different physical properties due to different atomic masses. Most of the elements have more than one isotopes and for the differentiation atomic mass is written with the symbols like chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. Isotopic mass is the sum of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an isotope. Relative isotopic mass is the mass of an isotope relative to one twelfth part of carbon 12. The relative atomic mass of an element is the average mass of all isotopes of an element relative to one twelfth part of carbon 12. The relative atomic mass of an element is calculated by multiplying the individual isotopic masses of all isotopes with their percentage abundances. The sum of these products is then divided by 100 to get the relative atomic mass of an element. And thank you so much for watching this lecture. Please do subscribe my channel for the upcoming lectures.